Good morning, guys and gals. This is Mike Craig of 113. Hey, I'm up in the uh, attic over the garage, and I uh, I think I talked about this before, but I wanted to show you um, real quick. I, uh, I don't know, about a month ago, you know, I have this Stryker SRA-10 mag mount here, and uh, I had it off the vehicle uh, for a while, and I was like, what am I going to do with it? So I had this steel... Uh, plate or it's actually a piece of shelving for a uline desk a workbench desk and uh, i had it at work and i asked if i could bring it home and i did and i, well, I was curious i heard uh, stories over the years when i was a kid that uh, people used to put their mag mounts on like uh cookie tins biscuit tins uh friend the shed he did a video uh uh with a mag mount sitting on a on a biscuit tin and then uh he had some foil, aluminum foil and all that kind of stuff. So just playing around with it, right? So I figured I'd try it too. So uh, this uh, is 28 inches, 28 inches or so this way. And I think it's like yeah, 48 maybe length. I'm not really sure. But uh, uh, it was, uh, you know, metal, you know, and uh, not completely solid, but solid enough. I had some Romax here, so I cut lengths of Romax, four lengths, that I stuck underneath the magnet itself. Uh, and uh, put them out in four directions as, like, ground, ground radials. And uh, so I ran this into the shack. And just to play with it, when I, uh, when I don't have the IMAX on the CB, on the 11 meter, uh, if I was using the IMAX for 10 meter, I figured I would have at least something on here that, you know on the 11 meter just so I could talk to uh, friends that were nearby and uh, and the YL so uh, it worked it worked so my SWR uh, I had to play with it a little bit I had to adjust it here um, I know it's a little dim in here sorry but I had to adjust the SWR so I had to <clears throat> move the antenna up and down a little bit and uh, it seemed to work out. So on the President McKinley, the uh, using the SWR meter there, I got a one, one to one, one point zero actually. It said on the radio, and it was a one one point one to one on the uh, the MFJ Grandmaster uh, analog uh, SWR power meter. So it worked out pretty good. So uh, anyway, so if you're if you're uh, trying to get into the hobby and all you have is a mag mount and say you want to put it in the house. And uh, money's tight. Uh, if you can get yourself a uh, a decent sized piece of metal uh, plate or a, a piece of shelving or something like that, and you get some uh, some wires, some ground wires, uh, some copper wire or steel wire that you could use for uh, ground radios. And like I said, I have those stretched out. You know, they're not completely perfect, but you know, they're stretched out. And uh, for a ground plane. And uh, it it will work. The, it won't be the best distance in the world, but uh, <clears throat> you won't get out like real far. But at least three, three or four miles, you know. And uh, you know it works. It works for uh, communications for your buddies and and your friends, your family, or whatever. So anyway, just a fun little experiment I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm gonna be taking this out right now. I have it coiled up there, the coax. I'm going to put it back on the vehicle, and no lie, I'm going to put my little Wilson 36-incher <laughs> on here in place of it. Uh, you know, just for that backup. Little antenna, you know, uh, you know, for the time being. So, uh, this is Mike Cricket, 113. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, have fun playing radio. I'll be clear.